असलम दिस इज मी एहतम एंड यू वॉचिंग माई यूट्यूब चैनल विल्स द लिंगवा एक्सपर्ट आम दी एक्सपर्ट ट्रेनर ऑफ आई एल्स पी टी ओ ई टी आइल्स लाइफ स्किल्स एंड अदर इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज प्रोफिशेंसी एग्जाम्स इन दिस वीडियो वी गोइंग टू लर्न एक्शन सेंटेंस इन द प्रेजेंट टेंस एंड रिमेंबर दैट प्रीवियसली वन आई अपलोडेड अ वीडियो विद रिस्पेक्ट टू प्रेजेंट सिंपल देर आई talked about stative possessive and action sentences within one video but but this video would only shed light upon on the various applications of action sentence in the present tense so let's get to begin today's session usage number 1 of the action sentences in present tense is it expresses the habits general truths repeated actions and unchanged situations in the present time so let's get to have few examples that how they refer to habits general truths repeated actions and the unchanging situation so the first example is i only eat the traditional food so in this sentence you can see that it refers to the habit that i only eat this this is my habit of eating traditional food and if i want to turn it into negative i don't eat the traditional food this is your habit and if you want to make it in confirmative and informative i've already made a video uh with respect to present simple so you can watch that video as well so in that confirmative style you can ask yourself that do i eat traditional food and why do i eat traditional food in informative sense so let's get to have the second example which shows the general truth like the water freezes at 0 degree so here you can see that it is a scientific and general truth now the third example to refer to repeated actions in the present it rains every afternoon in the spring season so here you can also see that it is a repeated action that happens in the present time now let's talk about the second application of the present simple in action sentences this second application is to express instructions or directions for example you first turn right and then left so here you are in instructing someone that you first turn right and after that you turn left so here we say you turn right and this is also the formula of the action sentence and remember that in action sentences i've already discussed in the previous video of the present simple that we use the formula of subject plus first form of the verb along with the s or es addition if we see a subject either third person singular or indefinite pronoun so we add s or es and we have already learned about adding es for six rules that how we can add in the form of verb when we see a subject either third person singular pronouns or indefinite pronouns so now the second example of this application is you supervise here and the boss instructs the supervisor that you supervise here this is also a type of instruction or command or direction that someone gives to someone else now let's talk about the third usage action sentences in present simple also express fixed arrangements in future for example my exam begins on the 25th of october so here you see that it is a fixed arrangement that already has been planned that this exam would begin on the 25th of october so you just simply say in the present tense with the construction of first form of the verb that my exam begins on the 25th of october and the second example my friend arrives tomorrow so here you also see that somebody has already made a plan or fixed arrangement that somebody are is arriving tomorrow so you mention this sentence in the present simple action sentence that my friend arrives tomorrow now the fourth application is uncommon but here you have to get to understand whenever you refer to a series of recent past actions and you try to mention two to three actions together of the recent past 
so you may also use the present simple like you for example you might have noticed when there is a cricket commentary or, or there is any football commentary so, so there you see that the commentators when they comment about some actions which, which referred just happened in the recent past so they usually use the present tense like i give you one example for the football commentary he passes the ball to john and john hits it hard and it is goal so you experience here that he passed the ball to john and john hit it hard and it was goal but here the commentator uses the present tense of action sentences now let's talk about the fifth and the last usage present simple is used with the future construction as in the adverbial clauses you have already learned that with future construction with conjunctions like when until once wherever whenever with all of these conjunctions you use the present tense and the later clause the main clause you use in the future simple so here in the future construction we with the time words or even with the conditional words we use the construction or dependent clause in present simple to refer to future time for example once you finish your work turn on the lights so, so here in this example once you finish your work so that is in the future like once you finish your work turn on the lights i hope that you have clearly understood the concept of action sentences in the present time and its application if you still have any query with respect to this topic you may feel free to type your message in the comment box below and I, and I would surely give you a feedback so if you have liked my video please do like and share and also subscribe to my channel for more informative videos see you inshallah in the next video of the present progressive or continuous till then allah hafiz